Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode here in Nomoria, in the lovely colony of Devil Dagger. We are doing a bit of an expansion. Uh, in between episodes, I dug out a little area in front of our great hall, uh, built another workshop of the butchers and the kitchen workshop, uh, just created another access point to the great hall. Um, that's really just so our soldiers can immediately go relax after their hard day's work of training and I'm thinking that this is probably going to be our hospital area right in here. I'm not exactly sure yet because I'm not sure if I really like this layout. I went ahead and added a pine table here just for no apparent reason really. Um, <laughs> I finally was able to appease my OCD by placing these two blocks here, removing this block and I'm gonna put a door there that way it's actually centered because that was driving me nuts because it wasn't actually centered on this hallway so that'll be a nice way of fixing that. Um, upstairs we did a little bit of work in the tailor's workshop. We added a few stockpiles in here and started uh, replacing some of the floor as we expanded it. We also added some stockpiles here in the bone carver and leather workers workshop that's just to expedite the process of the materials getting to them that way they don't have to run all the way from this workshop all the way down to the general goods it'll immediately just be in the next room for them but other than that it's been pretty quiet in between episodes no invasions uh, nothing popping up out of the ordinary really it was just a lot of uh, trying to figure out how I wanted things to look and how I wanted this episode to progress but go ahead and unpause it and we'll Put it up to max speed just so things get done in a relatively quick fashion. Uh, go ahead and pause it again just to replace this block here and put a door there as soon as that is ready. And we'll go ahead and throw a marble door because our great hall deserves to be grand and majestic. So we'll put a marble door there, and we also threw some marble doors here just for some added security. Um, the way I look at it is the more secure I need that area to be, the more likely that I need it to be a uh, marble door, because marble doors are a lot harder to break down than a wooden door in real life anyway, not in Nemoria, but it's neither here nor there. Um, okay, so our butchers and our kitchen workshop are all set up, and if you notice, I used a marble table because, well, it seemed that it made a little bit more sense. And I'm going to turn on automatically butcher excess livestock just so our animal population doesn't get out of hand. But I, I never turn on automatically butcher corpses because our gnomes have a tendency of trying to run out there and grab people in the middle of battle which is never a good idea. Alright, so tell them to keep one sandwich at all times and ten loaves and ten sausages at all times. Go ahead and get that set up. I should take care of that. And we can deconstruct these two workshops right here. And that actually cleans up this area a good bit. Um, I have decided I'm going to move this, uh, what is this workshop called, the furnace, over here to this area over here. Um, just for the simple fact that this is where our groves are, um, the trees that we're going to be using to produce the coal. So go ahead and get that deconstructed and moved over there. Somebody should come along and all right, ready to go. I'm really enjoying this new space. Uh, max speed of four times it makes things so much faster it was such a pain sometimes just waiting for either a a goblin attack or B for our gnomes to get done with a really big project which we haven't really done any really big projects in this series um, some of the mining I guess could be considered a big project but for me that's nothing considering some of the things I've seen on YouTube and some of the things I've personally done. Alright, um, we need them to use only pine logs and create... We'll keep... Uh, we'll keep 32 coal for now. 
I'll let him go ahead and take care of that. And I'm not sure if this tile ever grew back. Hmm. But I think this is a good time as any to try and clean up this area just a tad bit more. We're going to move these farms over here. And I think I want the grapes to be in this area here, cotton to be here, and some strawberries to be down here. That'll give us a nice size plots for all of them. Um, I guess we could have the game running in the background, no big deal. Alright, so... Go ahead and create this out here. 60 tiles of grapes. That, that's a good size bit. Go ahead and tell them to till that soil. I don't think they will actually grow in the winter time, so... We have a little bit of work cut out for us in that regard, but that's perfectly fine. Um, let's see. And I think we'll do the same amount of strawberries. Well, roughly the same amount. It's 13 by 5, but... Eh. Who's going to be a stickler for details like that? Um, actually, we'll probably go a little bit larger on the grapes just so we can get some more cotton. Um, hmm. We'll go 9 by 5 on the cotton just so we can have a little bit more. Alright, and I guess... We're going to have a lot of strawberries, so I hope our gnomes like strawberry wine and strawberry pie or strawberry shortcake or whatever it is our gnomes can make out of strawberries because we're going to have a lot of them. Alright, and we're going to suspend this farm for now, suspend this farm, and suspend this farm. What that's going to do is it's going to keep our gnomes from actually uh, harvesting any of these. Are, I'm not sure if it'll prevent them from harvesting, but I know it'll prevent them from planting again. So even if our gnomes do come by and harvest any of these, um, they won't plant again. So we'll have fully formed plots over here and our gnomes will be increasingly happy about that. And I think we should go ahead and put down a pretty nice walkway for our gnomes while they're walking in between the fields. Because although it provides no function whatsoever in terms of walk speed based on some other games that I've played, it does look nice. And sometimes form does speed function. And it looks like a merchant from Rock Dirt has arrived, so let's go see if we can trade any items to get some more ore to outfit our military a little bit more, because that's kind of our main goal right now. It's trying to get the military set up so that they can repel those goblin invaders. They didn't do too bad with only three in the last episode, but I'm not going to lie, I was, I was clinching in that, one, that scenario because it was... It was a pretty tough fight. The odds did not look good, however our gnomes did prevail and proved me wrong once again. Alright, so let's see, 760, uh, let's try 30, see how much, I think it's 480, yeah, that's 480. So we can, let's do it for 45, wow, we can actually get quite a bit. Uh, and so we'd need 40 more, so 2 more basically, 47, so we'll stay at 46, so 23 of each. So 23 tin ore, and 23 copper ore. That's how much this trade deal is going to be. Oh. Okay. That did not work out the way I thought it was supposed to. Oh, math. It's true, folks. The skills you do not use on a daily basis will be the downfall of you. It will make you look stupid. I did not want silver ore. Not one little bit. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's right, because... Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll grab an extra tin ore. And... Let's see... There should be some more things out lying around that we could probably sell. Let's go for the, We got a lot of wheat straw, which 
Uh, it's, it seems dangerous, but we're on the back side of winter already, so I'm going to cut this down to about 150, I think. And that will give us a nice size uh, stock of wheat in case our yaks get hungry for whatever reason. But we're for the most part, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're also going to get rid of some of these... Uh, older weapons that we don't use anymore. There's really no point in having them. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we need to get rid of? Anything we have a lot of, rather. Probably have a lot of grain. Yeah, we have a crap ton of grain. Let's go ahead and take that down to 200. Alright, we're sitting at 407 right now, which isn't too shabby. Uh, 500 wheat seeds. I don't think we need that much. Let's go ahead and take that down to 250. 289 should do it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Alright, yeah, see, so we can almost get a whole other shipment of uh, copper and tin just from this alone. We have some raw sapphire sitting around, but I would actually like to uh, process those and use them for jewelry because some of the more expensive ores like bronze, or not bronze, bronze you have to make. Uh, iron is particularly expensive and platinum is really expensive and then you also have gold, which I would like to get to eventually because I like to decorate quite a bit. and. A nice looking kingdom is always going to attract more gnomes. Alright, so... For right now, I think that's as good a deal as we're probably going to get. Let's see... No, I didn't want one tin ore. I wanted all of the tin ore. Alright, so 336, so it's 360. Yeah. I think. <laughs> uh, 16 times. I don't know. Let's try 16 and see what that gets us close to. Alright. And five more, maybe? Alright. And just try and even that up. Nope. <laughs> Cannot do it. Oh, nope. I actually <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Alright, so we get a good sized chunk of copper ore and tin ore out of that deal, which is great. Um, now our blacksmith is just going to be busy for the next forever, basically. Let's see exactly how much we got. And is this actually... it is pulling, but it doesn't... wait. <laughs> yeah, they haven't actually stockpiled it yet. Um, on that note, we might actually want some more wood wheelbarrows for our kingdom. Let's go ahead and tell them to create a couple more wheelbarrows and we're just going to use pine stuff for right now because I know we have that lying around. But our kingdom is coming along quite nicely. We have a nice long hallway coming in here for our general common area, or I guess not common area, but our decorative area leading to a uh, Foyer? Is that what it would be called? That branches off to our kitchen, our hospital, well, what's I assume is going to be our hospital anyway, and our great hall itself. Got a nice size freezer. Don't really have a use for it yet because this harvest hasn't come in. Once this harvest starts coming in, we're going to be rolling in trading currency. We'll be able to trade a crap ton of seeds, quite frankly. How much stone do we have? We have 300 raw marble. Hmm. Because I would actually like to start building up the gatehouse, if at all possible. Which I think we're going to do a little bit of today, anyway. Um, what we don't get to today, I'm I guess I'll wait and see what we actually do get to. Go ahead and build that up. And we'll build... I think going... 
three high is a pretty reasonable wall for right there anyway. Um, I think I'll take our towers up maybe one, maybe two more levels um, taller than the actual main structure here. And that's just because I want to be able to have archers that are shooting down underneath our gnomes and basically what I mean by that is is our no our archers can only what is going on here I am so confused about what is happening right now okay Wait, can our gnomes build upwards now? No. Oh, they must be laying the... They're laying the flooring. Okay. That was confusing me like nobody's business. Wait, I know what the problem is. Huh. Okay. Okay. This makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, they were laying a dual layer. I thought I had gone up to the next layer and gone above it, but apparently I didn't. So they were just laying the groundwork for that, which is perfectly fine. I mean, I did want a floor there, but I didn't want it right now. So that's cool. I mean, we can take it all the way over there. We're actually... Let's see. We're going to want it to go... At least back to there, um, right? Where exactly? You know what? We're, let's just take it all the way back to here. Uh, might not seem like a very big difference, I guess, but I want it to be right there. We're gonna go ahead and set up that floor. Um, I think they've actually. They've got one more floor right there to set up, and then they'll start laying these walls here. And I guess after they get done with that, we can go ahead and set up the second layer. A bit frustrating sometimes, the UI in this game, but it is one of the better games that I've ever gotten on Early Access. Some of the Early Access titles I've bought have burned me severely. Ugh, some of them make you want to give up early access altogether. Not gonna name any names because that's that's not really worth time right now. Okay, um, we have a bear spotted, and I really hope Mother Nature doesn't try and take another whack out of us. Uh, jeez. Okay, uh, let's designate a guard area, and maybe they won't go after them. I really hope we can keep them alive. Okay, so nobody's trying to fight a bear. Excellent. Alright, awesome. And now we tell them to go ahead and remove that and put them back on guard duty at their respective times. And we are going to get the Blaze Bakers eventually up and running. Um, I did have a commenter ask to be the next squad leader. For the gnome. So the next nomad wave we get, the first one's going to be a soldier and he's going to be the new squad leader. Um, even though, who is it that's in the second squad? Uh, not the blue slaughterers, the blaze bakers. Nispara has a reasonable <laughs> fighting skill and dodge skill, but that's okay because Nispara can go ahead and teach our new gnome that comes in. Hopefully, he'll come in with halfway decent. Uh, fighting skills by himself, but we shall wait and see for that to happen. But as you can see, things are pretty slow right now. Um, it, work just takes forever, really. There's not much you can do to get around it. It just takes forever to get anything built. That is one reason why we, why I'm thinking that on big building projects that we have, I'm going to look into how to do an effective time lapse for Nemoria. Whether it be just a series of screenshots over and over again where I have to take a screenshot every 10 seconds, or whether I actually uh, just let the video play through at 
double or triple speed if need be. But we did get that that little section of the uh, wall all set up, so that's pretty nice. Go ahead and tell them to set this up before I shut off the episode because it has already gone 20 minutes already it looks like. Which, it always amazes me how fast time goes by when I'm trying to record, it doesn't make much sense, but it is what it is. So we'll set up the scaffolding and we I will complete that in between episodes, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, I know, oh, we actually have a few visitors. So I don't think we're going to be ending this episode just yet. Um, it looks like Naspara is all by herself. And unfortunately, I seem to have forgotten to do something in between episodes, namely, setting everyone up to be a mechanic. Alrighty, um, you know what guys, I think we're gonna have to save this fight for next episode. I know it's a bit of a cliffhanger, but I am going to have to go through these jobs and actually set up everyone to be a mechanic, because I desperately need the blue slaughterers to be down here because Naspara has no equipment whatsoever. This fight is not going to go well for her because there's already an ogre showing up at our door, which is not good because they have a pretty decent fighting skill. And what was that? 157 fitness. Wow. Okay, so he moves pretty fast. And two fighters and two raiders. So if you guys enjoyed this one, I hope to see you in the next. Hopefully our kingdom doesn't fall, but until then, from everybody here in Devil Dagger, y'all have a great one.